Hey guys, today we'll be talking about blinks. I'll be talking about a few ways to set up blinks inside the character build, different sets of blinks for different emotions, and secondary action on the eyelashes. So I started just by roughing out what I was planning to build. So if I go into the eye symbol, you can see here that I have a sketch layer. And I was trying to pay attention to the spacing on them. And some of this I cleaned up, like I fixed in the cleanup stage. And you just want to make sure that there's enough space that nothing looks like it's sticking to each other for two different lines. Um, and when on the way back up, you would probably want to favor the last drawing. So these lines are going to be a little bit closer to this last drawing than they were to the closed position. And that's how I kind of approached it on all the other ones as well. Okay. So I cleaned up all the sketches, and this is what I came up with in the end. And if you want to see them both looking at the same time, you can see here. I didn't do the pupils or the eyebrows. If you were going to do a blank in your scene, you'd also want to animate your eyebrows and your pupils. So as the eye comes down, just let me just grab this pupil here. Your pupil will come down as well as the eye close. And the same thing with your eyebrow. Your eyebrow will come down slightly to the closed position and then it will go back up again. And I threw in some secondary action on the eyelashes just to give you an idea of like something that you could do with the eyelashes if you felt like it. So there's a little bit of drag on the eyelashes. So, just what I was thinking about when I was animating this was just go and turn it so we can just see the frame before this one. So you're just going to drag the eye back, like the eyelash back in the direction of the frame that came before it. So this one would be pointing up towards the last drawing. And this one would be pointing up to, towards there. This could probably come out a little bit. And then... This changes the direction, so this is pulling, like this is where it's being pulled from, and this will point back towards where it came from. And same with this one, and then it just settles into place. This doesn't have to be too extreme at the very end, just, just a little bit of, like a nice little settle there. And I didn't bother putting eyelashes on her in every single one, it was just some different examples. Um, my preference for when I do eyes is I like to just put a nice big fill underneath them. So you see I have like the white eye weight is like down here. And then you have the pupil underneath. And then on the inside here we just have this uh, circle of her skin color just so it hides the edges of this eye weight here. Um, I prefer that because I don't really like messing around with masking things and I find it frustrating whenever you have to switch the frame number of a whole bunch of different symbols to make the blank. Like, uh, this is how you'd set up it if you wanted to do it the mask route. And I thought I'd finish it up so you could see how I'm setting it up. So I moved the pupils underneath the outlines. So here's the outlines and the pupils are underneath. And I just got it off the old uh, eye white layers for now because we're not going to need them for this. I'm just going to move those at the bottom. Okay, so if we go into the head, you can see I took out. Uh, just one second. You see these frames here where I have this here? I took those out and I made a new layer underneath. And it's just a white fill of any of the space that you would see inside of the circle of her eye. It's filled in with white underneath on all these. And both of the eyes are in the same comp. If you are having any trouble with this or you're wondering how exactly to set it up, I'll be throwing this file in my Dropbox. Also, I did cover this a little bit in... I think in one of the builds tutorials, 
whenever I build her face, I showed you how to set up just the at least one view of the eye. So, okay, so that's how I set up the inside. We're gonna make two new layers on the outside of the eye cap and just drag these up here. And we're gonna name these ones mask. So we put these on two new layers, but these are the exact same symbols as these ones right here. So if I go onto this one and unguide this, oops, one second, it will also unguide it on that layer over there too. It will unguide it on everything. So what we want to do. is we're gonna right click on this new copy of it and go down here to duplicate symbol and just change the name to something else and then I'm just gonna click here and copy this name and then I'm going to click over on this eye and go into my library, paste the name in, and select it. And I might have, I think I'm making this more complicated than I needed to. I'm just going to swap the symbol. And then I'm going to select outline mask. There we go. I'm just trying to remember to do it a way that everyone can do it because I have plugins on my computer that not everyone will have. So I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally do something you can't actually do. Okay, so you can tell up here in the properties panel that this is a new copy because it says mask at the end. We're going to go in here and we're just going to guide everything off except for that white layer. There we go. So now we got two eye whites. I'm going to just stick them underneath your pupils. And then we're going to make two new layers and make another copy of those. So they're over top of the pupils. And make sure the right one's over top of the right and the left is over top of the left. And then you can just go to mask. So you can see that now it just masked it out. So it's a different way you can set it up. So if you are normally setting up lip sync and you just want, I meant, sorry, if you're normally setting up the blinks and you just wanted to blink at play, like frame 31 or something, just like lock everything we don't need. And I'm just going to select this and we will put it to single frame. Single frame for everything. So it shouldn't be playing right now. I just had it set to play once to show what it had done. So we go over to frame 31. And then we can go to frame picker of this. Um, I had set this to just the keyframes because otherwise it will be confusing and it will also slow down your computer. So it's sometimes helpful to go look and be like, okay, I'm starting on frame 121. So that's the beginning of this set of blinks, which is right here. And that's the start. This is at the single frame create keyframe up here. Um, so then whenever I click on frame 120, 123, 
it will just make a new keyframe for you. So I'll just keep doing that for each one until the blink is complete. Then I'll do it on the underside. This one started at frame one. And if you've seen that I click this and it's not making keyframe, it's because I'm trying to make the exact same keyframe that's already there. So I just put it in manually. It wasn't super necessary. I just like being able to see where each one it is. Okay, and then you just need to do the mask which is also the same as um, it's the same thing as your these layers right here so once we do these ones here we can just uh, copy them down to there so one way you can do it is go and look at this and go okay so it's 2121 click here this one will be 121 this one is 123 because they're in order. 125. Or you can do it exactly the same way that we just did the other one with the frame breaker. So that should have worked, and then we're just bring this down to here. And I put on the wrong layer, so that's why that didn't work. And you need to make sure the layers are locked to be able to view the mask. So now we got one complete blink for one eye. And we're just gonna go do the next eye. So it's frame one, three, five. Let's drag it down here. And that also works for making a blink. Anyway, that's everything for blinks. If you found this tutorial helpful and you'd like to see more tutorials, feel free to subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, just let leave me a message in the comments and I'll get back to you. And thank you for watching.